When I started here as director just over two and a half years ago, I was adamant that we host a Rembrandt exhibition here. When people talk about Rembrandt, they so often describe him as a master of light. And my co-curator, Helen Hilliard, and I were thinking, how is he a master of light? And so in this great anniversary year, we put on an exhibition asking that question. The light is central to his work, apart from the condition of humanity. He directs your gaze by the use of, of light. They seem to have an inner light. If Rembrandt was alive today, because he predominantly tells stories through light, would he even have been a painter? Would he perhaps have been a cinematographer? On the, my screen work, I, I always wanted to direct the gaze of the viewer in a certain way. Rembrandt does that, and I think that it's important in a gallery to place the emphasis on, on the works and not the general floor area. It was immensely helpful to have the latest technology, everything controlled from an iPad down below. It's really important to be able to adjust as you're looking at a painting, especially because we've got a lot of very different works in this exhibition, each of which requires a very unique treatment. So for me, it was very exciting to also think about how they sit next to each other and how these different effects will complement each other. We have our beautiful girl at a window, the star of the Dulwich Picture Gallery collection, and Peter said, let's just frame this one painting so that it looks as if it is just hovering on the wall. And we thought, well, that would be really, really nice in, in theory, but can it work in practice? And then it did work in practice. There's a moment that I'll never forget when we went to the ERCO offices in Mayfair and we tried out the lights on these reproductions. And there was one moment in particular where I jumped up incensed and said to the ERCO team, no, 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 we always said we want to let Rembrandt do the work. Don't amplify, don't put any additional lighting or any trickery on these paintings. Let's just light them simply. And one of the ERCO directors started laughing and said, we are just lighting them simply. ERCO have helped us every step on the way in thinking about what system we should use and we went with a brand new system, Bluetooth technology, LED lighting with so much flexibility so that we were able to achieve our aim of creating different moods in each section of the exhibition. The lighting has really inspired me for future exhibitions because it's opened so many possibilities. We've done something very specific with this exhibition but we could do something completely different with the next one. And I think that sense of possibility and the adaptability of the lighting system is what is most exciting to me.